we'll go right into it. And please like and subscribe and do the little thumbs up, right? And ring the little bell and YouTube, if you don't mind. And we'll go from there. So first thing to talk about is making commitments. And I put the clip out the other day and how I helped a team who was very shy on asking the product owner if they were flexible on a bug and putting something out because the code worked per the old original requirement was we had a new way of doing things and uh, most of it worked. They just couldn't get this one functionality work, which they were like, yeah, we can, we can live without it. It's okay. It's not a big deal. And they just made a promise to do it later. Now the key. So we always talk about trust, right? And we always talk about trusting the bosses, trusting the people up and make sure we have that trust above. It's also a trust sideways. And so you have a trust between your team, right? And that you trust your bosses to, to, to back you and everything like that. But the one trust we don't talk about a lot in here, and this is a little different. So what I talk about this show comes with different angles and things, is the trust the bosses have on their teams, or the trust the PO has on the teams, or the trust outside organization has with the people inside the organization. So it's not always the people in the organization have to develop a trust with everybody outside. A lot of times it's the outside folks have to develop a level of trust with the people on the inside. And that's what they don't talk about a lot in these conversations, right? What I mean is the reason the product owner was able to say yes and be flexible in the changing because there was a trust in the team that the team pretty much delivers what they say they're going to commit to. So now when, when the team needs some, some relaxation of what needs to be done or needs a little adjustment, the team can ask for the adjustment. I mean, it's perfectly legit. And what made it easier for the product owner to do it is the product owner trusts what the team was saying because the team has been delivering its commitments. So listen to, so you're listening to what I'm saying. It's a two-way street, right? And people don't tell you that. The team has to meet its commitments like, hey, I think it's going to take two days. It's got to take two days. I think we get this much done in the sprint. They consistently get that much stuff done in the sprint. Not saying they get everything done in the sprint. It would be great. Awesome. It's really important. There's days when you don't make it. There's days when you do more. But to be consistent within that less than 5% of the time that you're always meeting your commitment, maybe something just rolls off the side or maybe there's a bug we just couldn't fix and we need to fix the next sprint. It's okay. It's okay, right? However, the outside people have developed a good trusting relationship and trust what the team says. They do what they say. And that's why I say you don't want to overcommit so that you can be have a consistency of meeting your commitment with the outside folks. And then they trust you more. And you have a much better working relationship. That gets at a whole negotiation part. No more negotiation. It's a collaboration. Collaboration only works if the organizations trust each other. It's very important and very key. Thumbs up, trust, collaboration. Got to trust each other, right? That's a double thumbs up like the kid. But that's the key. And if you don't get there, you're not going to get all the other stuff that they talk about that actually work. So I just wanted to give that out there again. It trust is a two-way street, and you don't get collaboration unless both parties trust each other. And the collaboration between yourself and the customer, customer has to trust that what you say you'll deliver, right? You can't say I do something and never deliver and then don't understand why the customer doesn't trust you. It don't work that way. Maybe at home. I don't know. But in real life, it doesn't work that way. If you don't deliver, they're not going to trust you what you say. So... That is the point I want to talk about from an Azure point perspective. We're going to do live very soon. One, two, three, we're live. Hey, good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. I'm Greg Master, Azure Coach and Scrum Master here on 5 a.m. Master Scrum. This is our episode 124. And uh, we talk about Azure and Scrum in a practical and tactical way. And to get you home to your family and friends to do some fun things. I got a lot of stuff to do this weekend. It is Saturday, about 6.13, so we're a little bit later than normal. I was looking. I figured Saturday, browse around LinkedIn, see what's going on. Watch a little video of these little kids. Um, one, kid, one little brother or somebody was making breakfast or lunch for their 
their brother and they're doing the walk thing and they, the little tiny brother knows the thumbs up. I was just laughing. I got a kick out of that. So that's the international sound. This is good. <laughs> and they all know to do it on the video, which I thought was <laughs> hilarious.